in a 21st century museum and a three and a half thousand year old tomb, Egyptologists are piecing together the supernatural story of Tutankhamun's life after death, of a pharaoh on a mission through the underworld, fighting against the forces of darkness to save the sun and the earth from annihilation. With the highest possible stakes, the people who packed Tutankhamun's tomb did everything in their power to ensure he was prepared for the mission ahead. The ancient Egyptians were very big on insurance, so they had lots of safety nets in case one thing didn't work, one spell didn't work, there was a backup spell. If this got destroyed, there was another backup object. So you always had things that would help you get to where you went, wanted to. Egyptologists now believe this is why Tutankhamun took 5,000 objects to the afterlife. The more he took, the more chance he had of defeating the demons and overcoming the obstacles that lay ahead. But one shocking find has always perplexed archaeologists. The mummified bodies of two baby girls. Today, their fragile remains are being conserved at the Grand Egyptian Museum. DNA analysis reveals these two tiny girls were most likely Tutankhamun's daughters. But tragically, both had been stillborn, one girl at around four months and the other at nearly full term. There was such a high mortality rate for infants and sort of stillborn children in the ancient world that it's not surprising. But it is extraordinary to have them carefully mummified, wrapped up, cocooned, put in these coffins and placed in their father's tomb. These tiny mummies are an incredibly rare discovery. But Egyptologist Joyce Tilsley believes there is an explanation for their burial alongside the pharaoh. She suspects they were the ultimate insurance policy. Tutankhamun was very wealthy. He could have dug a grave for his daughters any time he wanted to. So the fact that their bodies have been saved to be buried with him suggests that perhaps it's not just a practical reason, but there's a ritual reason for them being there as well. In ancient Egyptian art, women and girls were often cast as protectors, standing alongside their fathers or the gods. And for Joyce, they were more than simply good luck charms. They were active participants in Tutankhamun's journey through the underworld. By being either physically in the boat with Tutankhamun or just having their spirits supporting him while he's in the boat, Tutankhamun will be protected by these two daughters who he has in the tomb with him. <laughs> 